Hi and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Felicia here with another video. So what I wanted to do um, in honor of Breast Cancer Month is talk about my first mammogram experience. I had my first mammogram this year and I, when I went to get it, there were some things that I was prepared for. There were a few things that I wasn't and I decided that I wanted to share my video. I wanted to do a video sharing my experience because I felt like so often we talk about um, breast cancer. However, when I think about my age group, I don't really hear us talking about getting mammograms or what to expect. I've had the conversation with my mother, but um, just having it with your own peers, sometimes the conversation is just a little bit different. So what I wanted to do was just kick off that conversation by sharing my first mammogram experience. Like I said, um, this year was my first year receiving a mammogram. I actually had to tell my doctor like, you know, hey, I'm 42 years old and you haven't scheduled me a mammogram. So we had it scheduled right away. Um, and honestly, I wish that when I made my appointment that um, they would have gave me a little bit more instructions on what to do. Um, because I made it at, when I was at my doc, my regular doctor's appointment with the regular appointment scheduler. So one thing that you want to make sure of is that you don't wear lotion and deodorant. Because I honestly could have got my uh, mammogram done the same day of my doctor's appointment, but I had on lotion and deodorant. And also, you want to wear... Um, I would suggest wearing maybe like leggings or joggers or jeans, some type of pants because you undress from the top up. They do give you a gown, but just for your own comfort level, you might want to have on some bottoms. So those just a few tidbits. So let's get into it. So the day of my appointment, I didn't wear deodorant. I didn't wear any lotion. Um, you go in and they give you a robe to put on. And my technician was very nice. She, you know, she asked me, was this my first time? I told her yes. She welcomed me to the mammogram club. Shout out to everybody in the mammogram club. So she welcomed me to the club and she really talked me through the whole process. The machine was a little intimidating when I saw it. And I did take pictures and I will put in a picture of what that mammogram machine looks like. And so it doesn't take long. Like the whole process is maybe 15, 20 minutes. And it, the process doesn't take long. The, the thing is, some people say it hurts really bad. Some people say it doesn't hurt at all. I will say that I did have a little bit of discomfort. So when they first start, you um, they place your breast in the machine, and at they you know they get you how they want you, and they put it in there. Then they press the machine down. As they're taking pictures, they tell you to like hold your breath, and then they will give you you know once they're done, they'll let you breathe. All right. So when they did the front ones, I was fine. I was like, okay, not too bad. Even when I had to do my side pictures, it wasn't horrible. Like it wasn't really bad. It was the only picture that really hurt me was the one where I had to like stand on my side and have your hand over like the machine and they take a side view and they, they pushing you in the machine. That one was the most uncomfortable for me. And when they tell you to hold your breath, I was like, you don't have to worry about it because I'm so uncomfortable that I'm not breathing anyway. So that was the most discomforting for me. But once it was all done, like you don't have any gels or anything on you, once you're done, depending on your clinic, they'll give you your um, results the same day or you might get yours in the mail. Now, my technician, like I said, she was very sweet. She talked me through the whole process and the room, you know, she made everything very comfortable for me. 
being that this was my first experience having a mammogram. She did let me know though that because this is my first one, there may be a possibility that I have to go in for a second one. She was like, if it happens, it's normal. Don't worry about it. So when she said it, I was like, okay, fine. We did everything. Like I said, it. the only one that was really uncomfortable to me is when I had to stand to the side and you push your breast in and you hold um, your arm over and you hold the machine that way. That one was the most uncomfortable for me. Luckily, I had the day off because I don't know why, but I guess with the anxiety above it all, I was a little tired. I went and got me something to eat. I went home and I took me a nice little nap, just to be honest. So a couple of weeks passed, I get my results and there was a finding. No, I take that back. It wasn't a finding. On my right breast, they could not get a clear picture and so I was required to take another test. And they, they used the term, which was basically saying like there was fluid on my right breast. So I did have to go in for um, what they call, hold on, I got my paper because I wanted to make sure I give the right stuff. So I had to go in for a diagnostic mammogram and a breast ultrasound. So, um, Basically, the diagnostic mammogram is the same type of mammogram. The only difference is they, they only test where there may be a finding. So for me, it was my right breast. And I believe that everything that she did, another I had another great technician, and everything she did was sort of, sort of the same as my first one, but she really took a lot of pictures of my right Um breast and she kind of like made sure I had it all all of my breasts was in there she took pictures on the side I did have to do that uncomfortable picture and it wasn't horrible like it was still a little discomfort but it wasn't horrible and with the diagnostic mammogram usually you get your results right away so once she did it she was like I'm gonna have the um the doctor look at it and we'll go from there so they looked at it he was like he does see a little something he wants you to go on to the ultrasound so i went in and for the breast ultrasound it's the same thing you are you still remain undressed from the top up you lay down and she just like a regular ultrasound they check your breast and so she you know she checked it and everything and i got the results she was like, there was a finding, there was some fluid. However, it looks to be benign, which means non-cancerous. However, because they did find something on my breast, I do have to go back now in six months to do another test. So I believe that I would be getting two mammograms a year versus one mammogram because there was a finding. Just to make sure that there's no extra growth and everything is going as it should. But it wasn't horrible. Like I said, my technicians was great. I didn't too much care for my ultrasound technician, but I really liked my mammogram technicians. It was They were really great. Um, overall, the experience, it was not horror finding. Finding out that there was something and I had to see, had to um, do another one. It wasn't... I wasn't nervous and I didn't, and it wasn't nerve wracking because I mean, I touch and feel my breast regularly. So I didn't feel anything that would cause alarm for me. And the, my first technician had already let me know that there was a chance that you might have to take a second one. So I was already a little bit prepared for it. I didn't want to have to take a second one, but it was fine. I did it. Um, like I said, I really wish that women, especially in my age group, that we talked about it a little bit more um, because I know women who um, have been diagnosed with breast cancer. I know women who, in my age group, who have died. And the conversation needs to not, the conversation shouldn't start with breast cancer. 
the conversation needs to start with, hey girl, have you had a mammogram yet? Hey, what was it like when you got your mammogram? You know, we need to start having those conversations because early detection is key. And so if you are someone who's over 35 in your 40s and you haven't had your mammogram and one of the reasons that you haven't had it is out of fear, I'm here to let you know first time there is nothing to be afraid about. Even if you have to go back and get a second one, it's not horrible, it's not that bad. Now, I'm gonna give you a few tips like I already did. One, you wanna make sure that you don't wear deodorant or lotion because that interferes with the reading of the test. So no deodorant, no lotion the day of your test, which I would recommend trying to get a test early in the day, especially if you're someone who likes to wear deodorant and you're conscious about that. I would highly recommend trying to get an early um, appointment so that you can go get it done, put a little trial size deodorant in your purse, put it on and go out your day. Speaking of going out for your day, I would recommend um, just taking a day out for it. Use it for a day for a set. Think of it as a self-care day. You go get your mammogram. Afterwards, go have lunch. Go do a little shopping. Go home and just take a nap and relax. I did all three. Don't judge, but I'm just saying. Use it as a self-care day. Take the day off. Do what you have to do. And then just take the day to spend some time with yourself. Third thing is make sure that you wear some type of bottom when you go get this test because you will be undressed from the top up. Your gown will be open from the front. So when they take your test, when you are taking your mammogram, you are exposed from the top up. So, like, I don't care about being nude or anything like that, but I'm not really trying to be that nude or that exposed during an exam. So I would highly recommend putting on some pants, like I said, leggings, joggers, something like that. You also want something that you can just easily put on and take off and, and call it a day. And last but not least, if you if they want to follow up, make sure you follow up, do your follow-up exams. Um, and the comfort level is up to you. My breasts are a little heavier. They tend to say if your breast is heavier, that it's a little easier. Like I said, the comfort level is up to you because there was a point in my exam that it was uncomfortable. I got through it and I did it. So that's all that I have. I just wanted to share my mammogram story. Um, like I said, I hope that we can continue this conversation to all of my women who have had their mammograms. I am now part of your club. To those who have survived breast cancer, I would like to say God bless you. Continue to fight on. For those who have lost someone to breast cancer, I am praying for you and I hope healing comes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a like and a subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Be blessed.